In this video, I'm going to explain how no can actually be a positive thing when starting out in your business. I'm Dean, the Wealth Coach, and let's get started. So right now I'm reading a book called The Master of Scale. I'm going to do a full book review once I finish, but I started reading it and I just kind of got inspired to talk about this first chapter and the power of no. A lot of us will start out on a business. We're looking for capital. We're telling friends, family members of this crazy idea that we have and we're pitching to raise uh, money and we're hit with the awful two letter word that a lot of us don't like to hear which is no but no can be something positive and there's a lot to take when you hear that no it's not to say that your idea won't work but it allows you to open up and think of more opportunities due to those no's um the author what's his name Ro reed hoffman he says um no's can be good uh, because it allows you to revise your idea he says no's can be good because it allows you to revise your idea and think think of the opportunity imagine going into a meeting pitching your idea to a boardroom um, because you got the next best thing right since sliced bread and they say no because um there's one two three competitors out there <coughs> oh sorry about that yeah because one two three competitors are out there so by hearing them tell you no it's not a bad thing it allows you to think of all right they brought this to the table how do i solve how does my product or service solve that problem um Hearing no is very difficult because we just like to hear yes, but when starting out in anything in a business or you have just an idea, a lot of people are going to tell you no, and you need to stay resilient and motivated. Um, I have a mantra where it says, what's the worst that could happen? Keep going. You got to keep knocking and knocking. It's just like uh, real estate agents. When they start out, they don't have clients, right? They probably have friends and family members, but if you want to grow as a real estate agent, Friends and family members can only go so far. So what do you have to do? You start have you have to start advertising. Uh, some use the door knock or they leave the the little flyers or whatever. You have to build up the momentum, right? Or just let more people see you. You got to be more in people's face. Um, you work on your sales pitch, all that stuff, right? So it can be tough, but um, what they say, C comfort is pretty much getting to that un being uncomfortable is getting to that next level it's like you won't strive you won't achieve greatness by being comfortable in a situation it's like you got to do something that's uncomfortable to get you to that next level and also the power of finding the one person that believes in you you're gonna probably have to pitch a hundred thousands of times before someone says yes but it's like the moment you got that one yes things are gonna change for you yes like does so much wonders where you don't have to well sorry not that you don't have to but when you hear that that one yes it's like man it took me this i i came this far and got my one yes somebody believes in my vision imagine how many times you had to rewrite your um your proposal your your pitch deck whatever it may be to get to that one person and that's somebody that gets it like in the book he's uh talks about a gentleman by the name of uh, tristan walker and he's he is the ceo of walker and company brands so for him he created a product um like um the equivalent to like a gillette razor blade but for people of color for course um course here so he invented that or he came up with that and he was pitching to a, a lot of um venture capitalists and a lot of them didn't understand his vision and he just kept going and going and it's like when he came to um a roadblock 
or like a crossroads, like with one of these venture capitalists, it's like, he had to separate the sense from the nonsense. It's like, okay, this guy's not interested. Let me just move on. Or the questions that people are asking, it's like, hmm, I never thought of it in that light. Or this is something that I need to add to my presentation to make my product more superior um, when presenting to people. And him just being shut down left, right, and center until somebody finally understood his vision and that person that understood him was Nas, the rapper he got it right immediately so it's like you got to just keep going some people will say yes i mean some people will say not some a lot of people will say no but the moment you hear that yes it's game time and you got to find ways or strategies to turn no into yes grant cardone is like a master when it comes to sales because he literally made the thousand calls where he says like a hundred calls a day. He's done over a thousand sales calls, but every time he heard no, he wrote down the reason why that person said no so that he can study that reason, figure out a solution. So now if that person comes, a next person comes with that same reasoning, he already has a solution for it. So it's like no is training you to get that yes some people may call it luck but i call this consistency and it also helps with perspective shifts to keep going to keep keep you going if you wholeheartedly believe in something and you're like obsessed with it passionate whatever word you want to choose then you just got to keep pounding the pavement until you get that yes that you're looking for until you can get your product to where many people are saying yes for that product. If Apple gave up on its dream to be the biggest tech company in the world, um, uh, what's his name? Steve Jobs, if he quit back in the 70s or 80s, he probably wouldn't have Apple, Apple today if he didn't hear those thousands of notes, right? So you gotta continuously pour into yourself and just keep going. and. No matter what the odds are, if people think your idea is ridiculously crazy and they don't get it, then you're onto something. The internet wasn't just created because we needed it, right? It was somebody that had a crazy idea of creating the internet and just put mad hours into it to bring us the internet. So you need to be like that person. I don't know the person's name, but just that type of example, it's like, all right, I have this next best thing since sliced bread. Let me put it out there. Like the guy that created um, Peloton. He was hearing no, 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 left, right, and center. And he came from that type of background where he thought he had that winning product. So all of us have that idea where we're like, yeah, this is going to change the world. And it probably can change the world. But a lot of us, we stop before we even get started. It's like our family members, our friends say, no, that's not going to work. Um, nah, that person has something similar to, this, similar to this instead of going out there and trying. So if you have that million dollar, billion dollar idea, all you need to do is consistently work at it for you to get to that point where you want to be. Look at Elon Musk. A lot of people thought this guy was crazy when he said, hey, I'm going to build an, an, I'm going to build an electric car. And guess what? He built an electric car and now he's like one of the top auto uh, producers in in the world or I think North America but don't quote me on that so um, yeah the power of saying no how many no's are you willing to how many no's are you willing to hear before you hear that one yes and I want you to let me know in the comments what is it that you are striving to achieve and you're hearing a lot of no's and this video is to help motivate you to keep on track, keep going. What's the worst that could happen? The most someone can say is no. No is not the end of the world. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. One no will lead to that one yes, or a thousand no's will lead to that one yes. And that one yes will skyrocket off into existence or to the moon. So I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to subscribe to my channel by 
clicking down below and I have linked another video for you to watch next on how to make money with no money.